Okay, let's um, continue our discussion of the ants. There's something called dual innovation. Dual innovation describes how this system basically works, where, where most organs receive para and sympathetic inputs. Influence, okay? And so when both systems affect the same organs, they can have effects that are opposites or effects that, that complement comp comp each other, okay? So for example, in antagonistic, Interactions between the, between the divisions here they oppose they have opposite effects on the same organ. For example, for heart rate, right, para will, will decrease heart rate, while sympa will increase heart heart rate. Okay. Opposing effects. Now, sometimes the both sometimes both divisions, para and sympa, can act on the same exact cell, cell, cell type, cell population. So in an example here, so for same cell antagonism, again we can still use the heart as an example because here your SA node cells, it's a part of the heart one that, that it's called the heart's pacemaker. Those cells have receptors. It's called it's a cell. They have receptors for para, or basically they have receptors, receptors for ACH, and also have receptors for norepinephrine. And so they can respond to both, both systems. And so this is an example where the same cell populations can be influenced in opposite ways by, by the different branches of the ANS. Another example where we may use different cells in the same organ to have an effect will be your pupil. So, so using, using different cell, meaning each division targets a different cell in the same organ. So for example, we use your eyes, right? This is your eye. So this part is your pupil. And then the muscle around it is your iris. So this is your iris. And so in the iris, you have two muscles. You have muscles in the iris that tends to push or close the, the pupil. Okay. So these muscles going inward, we call these muscles your pupillary constrictor muscles. They constrict the pupil. And so these muscles respond to, to your power and vision. They have basically your ACH receptors on them. And then you have muscles in the iris that oh, that pull that instead go this way to make the pupil wider. Okay. So these muscles we call your pupillary dilator muscles, and they respond to sympha. Okay. So here's an example here where both divisions act on the same target, the same, same iris, but they use different cells in there. Over here, both divisions act on, on the same, same exact cells in, in the organ. So you can take it both ways, use same cells or, or different cells to have to respond to each division. Now, sometimes as well, the effects may be, so this is one, one type of effect 
the effects may also be cooperative. Okay. Where both divisions act in concert to get a certain outcome at the end of the process. And then a good example here is in the, the reproductive system where the para division is used for erection and the sympa division is used for ejaculation. They're cooperative. Without one, you can't can't build it. All right. Now we're going to look at... Um, so this is a dual innovation. In some cases, you only have one input, not, not two. Okay. That's called single innovation. So for single innovation, in that case, it will be sympathetic input only. There is no para only. It's all, if, 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 if there's only one input, it will be a sympathetic input. And you can vary the effect by increasing the amount of action potentials, the, 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 the action, action potential frequency in the fiber. So if you go more, for example, let's say, so you can modify by changing the activity of the neuron. For example, for blood vessels, you know, your blood vessels can get narrow, they will vasoconstrict, become more narrow when they are activated by the para, sorry, by sympa in a very, a very intense way. So high amounts of sympa activity, uh, more high, high amounts of action, action potentials shoving down those neurons will cause the vessel to get more narrow, called a vasocon vasoconstriction. Right, and vice versa. When the amount of incoming action potentials is lessened, reduced, then the cell tends to dilate. Then the, the blood vessel tends to widen. Okay, so this is called vaso vasoconstriction, blood vessel constriction, or vasodilation from the same sympathetic input. Just one is more intense. One less intense or less 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 action potentials come down over time. So for simple innovation, I want, I want, to, I want you to know which vessels only get which organs only get one. So the organs that receive only one input are your kidneys. Okay. Most blood vessels, one input, your erector. Pili muscle, your sweat glands, and what else was there? And yes, of course, your adrenal medulla. Only receive sympathetic input, single innovation. All right, let's briefly run through a few organs and discuss how each division affects them. Okay. And again, we try to you think of what you would do in an emergency for simple and what you do when you relax for power. Okay, let's try that. So effects. So let's begin with what we use first. Let's use the iris. So there's an organ iris, and the, the, this is para and simple effects. So for the iris, para causes your pupillary constriction. So you have less light coming to the eye. Simple causes pupillary dilation. So you can see better, you can see more things coming in. Are you scared? You want, you want, you want to really capture the environment very quickly. 
you have the lens the para will curve the lens curve for near vision close vision and the simple will flatten the lens for far vision so you can see far away the danger before it gets into your, the close to your face or, or closer in the salivary glands right these are activated para makes makes your saliva very watery so you get a watery saliva from para simple you have less water so you have thick saliva your adrenal medulla here there's no no para in that one and simple triggers it to release norepinephrine and epinephrine your adrenaline to flood the blood to pump you up okay you have the heart so let's add some more Heart. So here for the heart, this one slows down the heart rate. This one speeds it up. And it also increases your force of contraction, what's called contractility. How forcefully the heart squeezes. The bladder. So here you increase urination in the para in simple you decrease urination for the lungs when you relax your lungs are small your bronchioles the tubes are small so so it's so it's called your bronchial constriction they become more narrow when you are in in the the, the sympath sympathetic mode they dilate so bronchioles dilate this explains again why you take epi shots when you're having an asthma attack to widen your bronchioles the air flow in more easily into your lungs your digestive system this system is activated it becomes very active secrete you know, you know enzymes and HCL during power activity and here you decrease GI activity during simple simple mode liver liver's job is to store your fuel so it's just as glucose when you're in power mode and then when simple is in play the liver releases the fuel to your blood so you can use it to make atp kidneys let's keep going all right let's place Your kidneys, power does not affect kidneys, and simple will decrease filtration. Decrease the amount of blood entering into the kidneys for filtration, and thereby also decrease urine, urine production. And we have the penis here, power causes the erection. And simple causes ejaculation. Same for vagina, right? And clitoris. Here you have vaginal lubrication happens during uh, 
para, victorious erection, and the ejaculation you have uh, contraction, contraction of the, the vagina, and for as victorious, I'm not sure what what happened there for in a, in a penis it, it can release something, but here. More so, it's just more of a passion contraction coinciding with, with, with orgasms. Okay. Mm. All right, we'll stop there.